Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to How to Play Dark Souls. Uh, today, we are down in this area where we fought Havel the Rock, if you remember where that is, um, in the Undead Parish. Uh, we're going to be doing the Artorius DLC first, because that's what two of you guys voted for, and those were the only two votes I received. So that's what we're going to do. In order to do that, we're going to have to come down here and kill this Hydra in Darkroot Basin. Um, and then there's a crystal golem we have to kill that will um, drop a new NPC. Kind of like the gold crystal golem did back at the entrance to the crystal caves with um, that uh, the knight of Canarita's daughter. So we're going to have to fight another crystal golem like that that will drop an NPC. This is probably a good idea to back up and use arrows. I already have it equipped. Let's drag him over here to us. That was not a good shot. There we go. Get him one at a time so that we don't, whoops, so we don't have to uh, deal with these guys while we fight this Hydra. The Hydra can be difficult unless you know exactly what to do. Um, it hits pretty hard and I uh, keep thinking it's in the other hand. The Hydra hits pretty hard, but um, its patterns are very predictable, so if you know where to stand... Crap. A little bit lower. There we go. If you know where to stand, uh, you should be pretty safe. So I'll show you how to do that after I take care of all these crystal golems. I'll be right back. Alright, we've taken care of all the crystal golems now. Just over there, you can probably see some of its heads moving. There's a big Hydra. Um, it hits with a long range attack that can hurt really, really bad. We don't want to deal with that. We have to get as close as possible, basically, to get it to stop shooting its water attack at us. This one. It hurts real bad. You don't want to deal with it, trust me. So just kind of go back and forth, zigzag like this. And they should miss you for the most part. And then hopefully we can get close enough to get it to stop doing that attack. Okay, we blocked it. Get about right over here next to this rock. And just block. Then attack the heads. And cut them off. One by one. If you're starting right here, I mean, you might get hit sometimes, but you're usually pretty safe. The heads will come right next to you. Just cut them off one by one. Like this. This is the easiest way I know of to kill this guy. Whoops, it didn't get close enough. There we go. Got three of its heads already. Nope, don't like that attack. Come on. Alright, let me get this one. How am I not hitting your head? What the freak? Oh, weird. Okay, I'm gonna freaking get you this time. What the freak? There. I think there's three more heads left. Let's get this one. Oh, he didn't cut it off? Oh, he's dead. Okay, that works. There you go. That's how you kill the Hydra. Easiest way I know of. You get a Dusk Crown Ring and a Dragon Scale for killing it. Let's pick up the Knight's Armor. We don't need that either. Don't need that. Let's switch over to the Rested Iron Ring. You're going to need that for this fight. If you don't remember, or if you're watching this and haven't been following the series, the Rested Iron Ring is found back at the Undead Asylum. You have to get uh, the Asylum West Key, I think it's called. That's found in Firelink Shrine. And then you go back to the Undead Asylum, you open a certain gate, and you can get the Rusted Iron Ring. But what it does is it allows you to move without being impeded through, you know high water like this, like this water is knee deep, usually it would be slowing me down a lot, but with the rest of an iron ring on, uh, my movement isn't impeded at all. I was actually curious about this, this happened to me last time I did this too. Um, I guess I have to leave the area and then come back, and then this crystal golem will be here. So I'm going to do that off screen, and I'll be right back. Alright, we're back. And as you can see, after I've gone and rested at a bonfire, and then returned, 
the crystal golem has appeared. So that's kind of annoying that you have to do that, but this guy's not a pushover. Don't take him lightly. He'll hit really hard. So be patient with this guy. Just try to get him to do an attack where you can get around him. Ah, I was a little too close on that one. There we go. Two, and then back off. Just one, then back off. Watch out for this. Go get him once. Nope. Get him once, and then back off. One more hit should do it. Maybe two. There we go. Awesome. And we get an NPC. So let's talk to her. So, it is thou who rescued me. Most gracious, I am deeply obliged. I am Dusk of Ulysseo. I come up from an age long before thine. I cannot stay here for long. So, before I disappear, allow me to ask one thing. My home, Ulysseo, is the home of ancient sorceries. My hope is to pass this profound knowledge to thee with thine approval. Would this be of assistance to thee? Say yes. Make sure you say yes, because if you don't say yes, you can't do the DLC. You have to play a whole other game all over again just to get back to this part. So, just do yourself a favor. Say yes. My heart felt thanks. I am pleased beyond words. Then I shout. Engrave my signature. If thou art in need, pray summon me from my signature. It seems that my time is done. May the great flames guide thee. Alright, so basically what ends up happening is I think she drops a summon sign and you can summon her and buy some equipment from her. Um, I think the summon sign goes down somewhere around here, but I haven't done that in quite a long time. But if you're looking to get all the unique weapons and you know armor and stuff like that for the achievement or trophy, um, you're going to have to do that. So... Just be aware of that, but now, um, I need to head to the Duke's archives, so I will meet you guys there. In order for us to access the DLC, there's one thing we have to do there at the Duke's archives, and then come back here again, so I'll be right back. Alright, so, where we need to go, got some weird screen tearing going on, you guys see that? I wonder why that's happening, that's like really bad, what the freak. Hopefully that doesn't continue. I, um, I installed, finally, the DS Fix uh, mod for this game so I can run it at 60 frames per second. And for the most part, it's pretty smooth. I also turned V-Sync on, but sometimes I get weird screen tearing like that. And I don't know why. You could always just play it at 30 frames per second, but whatever. Anyways, you need to, um, from where we just were, go to Anorlando and enter the archives from this way. That's the fastest way to get to where we want to go. There's a crystal golem up here who will drop an item we need in order to access the DLC. So. Okay. It's just right up this elevator. There are going to be some hollows to fight, but... That's okay. Ooh, I should switch my crest shield. There we go. Alright, come on. Come on. Jeez, they hit hard. Those crystal weapons, man, they're crazy. Alright, we just need to kill this crystal golem right here. Ow. Thought I'd be able to get him. Those crystal golems are a little bit tougher than the, uh, the ones in Darkroot Basin. Anyways, this is what we came here to get. It was the broken pendant. So once you uh, once you got this, we can head back down to uh, Darkroot Basin again. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, we're back at Darkroot Basin, and as you can see, now that we have that pendant, 
there's kind of this fog gate at the far end of this little cavern, so let's head over there and interact with it and see what happens. Did we expect anything less? This is Dark Souls after all. Alright, we got a uh, bonfire right off the bat. Let's see how many humanity I have. I have 12 humanity left, so let's use three of those. I have actually played through this area once now. Only one time on a different character. Um, and so I kind of know what to expect and what to do, but this is basically the only part of the game I have not beaten like several times. So I'm not going to be as keen, probably, as I have been for the rest of the game. One thing I definitely want to do is switch to my Black Knight Shield for its, uh, its lightning damage reduction. And, uh, anyways, I'll probably beat this boss in the first try, it's what I expect, but um, he does hit pretty hard, so let's find out what happens. Alright, so there are a couple- ooh. Okay, good. I still have the rusted iron ring on. Good, good, good. You would definitely want the rusted iron ring on and any lightning damage reduction equipment that you have. Now, what we want him to do is to do this move where he basically, um, like, sits back and then, like, he, he flaps his wings at you. It's meant to kind of, like, stun you and then he attacks again. When he does that, he, um, he gets staggered quite a bit. These moves... You can easily avoid or block, they're no big deal. That one hurts. That one hurts, watch out for that. Let's see if we can get a hit on this. One hit, there we go. Yeah, and he, uh, he has a lot of HP too, so you're gonna have to be really, really patient in this battle. Dang it. Okay, he didn't actually hit me, he just uh, stunned me there. The key to this battle is just to be really patient. That one hurts a lot. I'm going to heal after that one. He still hasn't done the move I was talking about yet. Keep your stamina up, as always. Manage that really well. Gosh, I hate that move. He still has not done the move I wanted him to do yet. This might be it right here. Oh, darn. Come on, bro. You can do it. Man, he's not doing it this time. He usually does it a lot. That's kind of like my strategy for this guy. He does this one move and I can go and get like four hits on him. He gets staggered for like that long. There it is. That's the one. Alright, after he does that, two-hand your weapon. Get as many hits on him as you possibly can. Hate that move. Darn it. Never see that last one coming. Dang it, this is not good. Oh gosh. I gotta heal. I gotta heal right now. Ah! Barely. Barely, barely, barely. Watch out for that one too, it'll poison you. His tail kinda sucks. Let's see if we can heal real quick. I hate that move. I gotta start trying to dodge that move. Four moves. That one sucks. Get one hit on him after it. There we go. Hate you for that. Jeez, I hate that move. Fetch! Stop doing that. 
Alright, we got him. Doing alright so far. Not bad. Could probably be doing more damage if I had better weapon, but uh, it's better to stay nimble, in my experience. So you're not going to be much commentary in this one. This is one of those ones you got to really concentrate on, at least for me. He has a lot of different attacks. The boss fights, for the most part, in the Artorias DLC are a lot more intense. They're all pretty good. There's no... And at least... I mean, I've only played it once, so I don't know for sure, but... As far as I can tell, there's no really good ways to cheaply beat these bosses. Dang it, that's the one I was waiting for! Alright, see, that's what happens when you start commentating instead of, you know, playing the game. Damn it. Alright. Alright. That's how you want to play it. Watch out for this! Yeah, getting poison's no good. Um, that's gonna be a huge pain. I should have equipped some, uh, some blooming, or some purple moss bombs. Come on, dude. There it is. That's the one. Dang it, I didn't get to him. Ah! Oh boy. Come on, stamina. Come on, stamina. My health is slowly going down, too. Fetch. I do not like you. I need to heal soon. Right now seems like a good time. Used two Estes on complete accident. That was not good. There it is. Three. I could have gotten four hits on him there. Because he got stunned. Shoot. Ah. Totally could have hit him there. There we go. We're getting pretty close. Not uh, let's not get cocky here. Let's heal. Still got eight Estes left. We're in good shape. Two hits should do it. Oh, barely blocked that in time. That was dangerous stuff. Just get one hit. That'll do. Hate you for that. That was dangerous. Stop doing that. Jeez. Oh my gosh, you suck. Oh my gosh, you suck. I hate you so much. Keep spamming that stupid move. You're not going to get me, bro. That's exactly what we wanted. You're dead now. Oh, come on! This is it. There we go. So, yeah. That guy's kind of tough. Um, actually, one of the more... I think one of the more challenging bosses in the game. His moveset is just really varied. Um, he hits really, really hard. He's very mobile. He can move all over the place, fly. Uh, it's a very dynamic boss fight. It's one of my favorite boss fights in the game. But once you beat him, we then want to come up this way. Oh, wait, wait, is this where I came in? He gets so turned around during that fight. I think that's where we came in, so this is the way we need to go. My frame rate's dropping a little bit. 
That's right, there's a bonfire up here, so let's rest at it. Kindle it, and I'll be right back. Alright, so once you've done everything here at the bonfire, let's uh, go over here and talk to this NPC. Well, look at this one. From what far away age hast thou come? Thy scent is very human indeed, but not intolerable. Ah, Princess Dusk's savior. Thine aura is precisely as she described. I thank thee deeply for rescuing her highness. But Princess Dusk is here no longer, snatched away by that horrifying primeval human. And so I must ask, couldst thou once more play the savior? Go ahead and say yes. Thank you. I am Elizabeth, guardian of this sanctuary. Something of a godmother to Princess Dusk. I shall assist thee to my utmost, for I am one with the sorceries of Auraseel. Okay, so uh, we can buy items from her. We got resins, powders, uh, a couple of different spells, um, and a catalyst. So if you are magic build, that might be useful to you. Uh, you can also talk to her, get more information about, you know, this area, the lore behind it and all that. But for now, we are going to head this direction. Dang, the uh, frame rate's really... I thought it would do better, and there's a lot of screen tearing going on. You want, I'm going to switch this back to 30 frames per second just for the recording and see if that helps. I'll be right back. Alright, welcome back. We're back to 30 frames per second again. You won't see a change because on YouTube you can't watch things in higher than 30 frames, but hopefully there will be no more screen tearing in the center of the screen and that'll help out. Okay, I'm going to get through one more area here and fight one more boss, and I think I'll call it a day. But uh, in this area, there are two new enemy types. You can see these guys here, with their like little pitchforks. They're pretty easy to kill, but they're often accompanied by these big stone giant looking things. Those are the guys we're gonna wanna try to avoid. Just for the sake of time, I'm not going to fight all the enemies you can fight in this area. I'm going to try and run past them and see how that, how, how far I can get doing that. I'll show you these guys real fast. They're not too hard to kill. But there are a lot of these guys in the area. And I'd rather not have to fight them all because it'll take a very long time. But you can see there. See the stone giant with the big hammer slash axe and then these guys are usually accompanied with them all right we're just going to try and run past all of them but before we do that just hug the rocks here come around i want to show you something important so if you hug the outside you'll see this kind of broken structure here and inside you'll see there's a place for an elevator. We can unlock this a little bit later. This will be a shortcut. Something died. I don't know what, but something died. Um, if you're interested in collecting armor and weapons and things, come up here and grab this uh, Guardian Gauntlet. Anyways, yeah, keep that in mind. We're going to open that a little bit later. That's going to be a shortcut. All right, here we go. Let's keep going around the outside. Let's try to avoid conflict as much as we can. Our goal is to get across that little land bridge over there and over to this side. That building there. That's where we want to go. Is that guy aggroed already? That's impossible. Well... It doesn't really matter if he's aggroed because we're going to be... There's the bridge. There it is there, see? We're going to be going underneath him there. Up that way. And then around back up to there. That's our goal. Here we go. Three, two, one. Beast it. Forgot to put my uh, ring back on. Oh gosh, I forgot about this guy. 
Yeah, this is a dragon here. His name's Calamite. He's really hard. Please don't kill me. We'll fight him later. Don't worry about him for now. Let's kill this lizard. Why not? Give me what you got. Twinkling Titan Knight. That's always good. Drop down here. Should switch to my other ring. There we go. That's me a little faster. I can take care of you, no problem. There we go. Alright, you see that like broken Colosseum looking place? Very reminiscent of the Colosseum in Rome. That's where we're headed. So let's just run around all of these guys. So a couple stone giants, get your stamina back, you're gonna need it. See that doorway right there? That's where we're headed. Deke them all. Come over here. Step on this. And we made it. Excellent. Okay, so now we're down here. Um, actually, let's head over this way first. There's a merchant here that we can talk to. Hmm. Ah, let me guess. Snatched by a shadowy limb and dragged off to the past. Yes, of course. Exactly what happened to me. We are both strangers in this strange land. But at least now there are two of us. Okay, and he sells items, but he sells them for ridiculously high rates. Uh, there's no reason to buy anything from him. I do need homeward bones, but I'm not buying it from him. Uh, he sells arrows as well. Anyways, he's kind of useless. Um... If you stay in human form, he is going to invade you pretty soon. And he, he, he hits really hard from range. So if you don't want to deal with that, you can kill him right now. And you can get all of his equipment too, all that stuff he's wearing. You can get all of that if you're interested in that. But um, I'm going to go ahead and let him live so that I can show you guys... Uh, what his black phantom is like, so. Let's head over here and activate this. And you see, we're back to where I was just showing you. And now we have a shortcut. We don't have to run past those guys every time. So that's really nice. Um, there is a boss coming up. This is my favorite boss fight in the whole game. Uh, he is tough. So, let's see. I want to make sure that I'm optimal for this. The armor I've got on is good. I could use a better weapon, but I'd... I guess I could switch to the Crest Shield. Get rid of this. And maybe be able to use that. Yeah, that'll work. Um, I think this is a better way to go. So, here we go. Alright, this is the Knight Artorius, and as you can see, he's probably seen better days. Um, you can see his left arm is limp, almost like it's broken or not usable. Anyways, there's a few attacks you want to watch out for. This is one of them. Um, but one thing you really want to be careful about on this boss, you're not going to be able to get multiple hits on him generally. One hit is usually enough, and then back the freak up, because he does this move where he'll kind of like swing in a big circle and knock you up in the air. Mostly what I try to do is get one hit on him with two hands, 
dodge his initial attack, like that, then get one hit and back off. That's my strategy for this guy, and it generally works pretty well. And then back up. Back up. Oh, lost my lock on him. Sometimes he'll do that move multiple times, so watch out for that. See that move he just did right there? That's what I'm talking about. So you gotta hit him and then back up so that he doesn't hit you with that. Just like that. See, that would have knocked me up in the air if it had hit me. Oh, jeez. Close. Okay, I gotta get my stamina back. Really watch your stamina in this fight, especially if you're gonna try trying to dodge and attack and then back up again. It uses a lot of stamina. Um, you can run up and attack him while he's doing that and prevent him from doing that, but I like to use that as a chance to heal. Um, I'm not sure what that does. It looks like it powers him up somehow, but I'm not really too worried about it, honestly, because he doesn't hit me very often. Oh, jeez, I hit, I hit the dodge button, but it didn't work. Back up. There we go. So this is pretty much my strategy for the fight. I usually evade to the left. Oh, gosh, that was really bad timing on the evade. So yeah, the timing is really important. Um, I was just a little too early when I evaded just there. I hit, I hit the evade button just a, like a, a, maybe like two frames too early on that. So it, you have to get used to the timing a little bit. But uh, I'll meet you guys back there. Alright, I'm back. I'm actually going to switch up my uh, equipment a little bit for this one. Just as a test, you guys can kind of see you know, like which sword does more damage against him. Also, um, we can see if this shield is going to block more damage. I think that it has more stability. Not stability on the bottom, or durability, sorry, not durability, that's not what I'm talking about. Meaning that this shield takes a longer time to break, but the stability stat, uh, the Black Knight shield has a higher stability stat, so I might be able to block more of his damage with it. So, um... I'm going to give that a try this time, and I'm going to try not to let him power up. So let's see how that goes. I feel like I'm doing less damage this time. Oh gosh, not good. That's probably a better time to heal, is on that attack, rather than the one where he powers up. Let's try to stop him from doing this. Got him. Nice. Barely got him, but we got him. That was a sick deke right there. MLG, baby. Oh, I missed that one. I'm not doing nearly as much damage as I was before. That's a problem. I'm going to try and switch in the middle of the fight at some point. I gotta heal first though. I think I got him stuck in a... Okay, let's heal right now. Then... Oh no. No, 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 no. That works. Yeah, that lightning... is doing way more damage. Oh crap, I forgot you can't dodge when you're doing that. Looks like I'm stuck with this sword for now, guys. Dang it! See, I went too early on that one again. A little more forgiving if you don't let him power up, though. Actually, a really good opportunity to do damage on him when he does that move.
All right, we're getting pretty close. I think we can do this. We have almost got him. There you go. And that is how you beat the Knight Artorius, at least my melee strategy for him. Get the soul of Artorius. And here we are. There's a bonfire right up here. I'll rest there and end the video for now. Actually, there's one more thing I want to show. One more thing I want to show before. Okay, now that we've fully kindled the bonfire and repaired all of our equipment, I believe we have to leave this area and then come back before this character will appear here. Yeah. Oh, by the way, there's, um... I haven't done this very much, but you can basically create PvP duels in this area right here. You just go into these different areas, uh, the system will get you, you know, it'll do some matchmaking, get you paired with someone, you can do some PvP here. This is the way I wish it was mostly used in the game. You know, for people who want to do PvP, they have an arena set up to go and do that. And so that's, that's cool that they added this for the DLC. Up here, there's a blacksmith, but I'll introduce you to him later. First, let's go ahead, warp away from this area, and then warp back. Oh, we have the Knight of Katarine here. Let's talk to him. Oh, oh this is her. You both might have been quite well, aren't you? I haven't found my father yet. Have you seen him? Oh, you see. Well, I had to ask. I will continue searching a bit longer. Thank you so much. Alright, so that kind of keeps that quest line going. Let's warp back. Okay, let's go ahead and rest here. Just so that if we die, we'll come back to this point. Now let's go back into this arena where we fought Artorius real quick. And we see that there's a new NPC paying her respects. You. Is that not the soul of the man who fell on this spot? He was a dear friend. I wish to pay proper respect with that soul. Would you be willing to part with it? So you can give her the soul of Artorius. Um, if you want to make a weapon out of it, then you're going to want to keep it. But uh, I'm not going to do that for this character, so I'm just going to go ahead and give it to her. Thank you. You are very kind. Please take this. I no longer need it. In return, she gives you the gold tracer and the dark silver tracer. May the Lord guide thee. Now, if you wanted to keep the soul of Artorius to make the boss weapon out of it, and you still wanted to get the gold tracer, and also her equipment, because she's wearing armor that, I mean, at least the, the leggings are really, really good for dex builds. Um, you can, actually, you can buy now, it's available, the Artorius armor set, which I like to use for a dex build, Except for the leggings. I like the leggings that she's wearing better. They're actually a better piece of armor. So you can kill her, get the gold tracer, um, and her armor set as well. But I'm not going to do that for this uh, playthrough. But, let me tell you, this gold tracer is an unbelievable beast of a weapon if you are a dex build. Look at this. It scales an A with dexterity. And when you get it all the way up. You have to have 25 decks to wield it in the first place, but it scales with decks, so you need to have high decks to really make it an effective weapon. But when you upgrade this thing all the way, and you have 40 or 50 dexterity, this thing is unbelievably strong. It is a, a wonderful weapon to use if you are a dex build. I highly recommend getting this if, you're been, if you've been putting points into dexterity. Um... I'm not going to be using it for this playthrough because this is more of an endurance and what will become a vitality build. I'm going to focus basically on endurance and vitality only. Once I get my endurance high enough, I'll switch over. But um, for dex builds, which I have one, I'll show you guys after I've beaten the game, um, that weapon is incredible. It's one of the best in the whole game. Alright, I think I'll stop there for now. Thanks for watching, guys. And next time, we'll continue on through the township here. Peace!